The 1960s was a decade where changes in our society affected America. Civil rights, women's liberation, and counterculture youth movements were important groups to many Americans. Even though America was going through large social changes, one group of Americans continued to be discriminated against. Americans had not yet accepted homosexuality and the gay population. One group had not yet created an organized movement to stand up for what they believed in. However, on June 28, 1969, in the small gay bar in the neighborhood of Chelsea, New York City, the modern gay rights movement was born. During a routine police raid on a known bar called the Stonewall Inn, the gay patrons took responsibility into their own hands. In the 1960s, being gay in America was not accepted. They were not allowed to dance, socialize, or be in public areas. Most gay people were not comfortable expressing their sexuality in public, so private gay bars became a popular hangout for gay Americans. Gay men and women would sneak off into these areas located near them, bars being one of those private areas. They would sneak off into gay bars to drink and socialize. Here they were free to express themselves and to be carefree because there were many others like them too. Homosexuality was classified as a mental disorder in 1973. Psychologists considered homosexuality a mental disorder and named it ego dystonic homosexuality. Researchers state not to use DSM-II or 302.00 ego dystonic homosexuality because this may lead on to catch this mental disorder. Members who were part of the Stonewall Inn took matters into their own hands on Saturday, June 28, 1969. There were up to 200 gay men and women inside this bar, socializing amongst others. The homosexual people were free to dance and to do the things that they were not allowed to do outside of this bar. This bar was one of the most visited gay bars in New York. This was the Stonewall Inn. Just after 2 a.m., police walked through the bar demanding identification and escorting drags outside. The customers did not respond back peacefully as the police had expected. They had fought back telling the police reinforcements no and shoved them back. They were not going to give themselves up easily this time. This escalated into beatings to try and escort the homosexuals outside, but that did not go out as well as planned. The police have raided through gay bars throughout the city of New York. Each gay bar they have come across has been forced to shut down as well as many of the customers being arrested because of what they had worn or because of them fighting back. The police department used a cover-up, serving liquor without a license, because there were many other gay bars in New York which has not been yet targeted. None of these gay bars has had the urge to fight back. According to eyewitnesses, Fred Tree, the evening at the Stonewall went as follows. My friends Charlie and I were dancing in the bar when the police came in. We fought our way out through a side door that was blocked by a piece of plywood. There were a few of us outside throwing rocks, bottles, and whatever we could find. But in about an hour, there were about a hundred outside, both straight and gay. They pulled a parking meter out of the ground and used it as a battering ram. We were having a great time, but the police were afraid to come out of the building. After we ran out of things to throw, we set garbage cans on fire and threw them through the open broke windows. That's when the riot police came. We all ran as fast as we could down Christopher Street and back to a restaurant called Mama's Quick Chicken Ribs. We stayed there until everything calmed down. Straight neighbors helped us and hid us from the police after we ran away. Fred E. Tree. Little did the police know, there had been an assemble forming outside of the bar while the police was dragging customers outside of the bar and arresting them. Bottles and trash cans were lit and were thrown towards the windows that belonged to the bar. The patrons who hurled the item towards the police had successfully exited the bar without the police acknowledging their fewer presence. The gay patrons had either snuck out through blocked passageways or either fought their way out through the guarded doors. The police had exited the bar to stop the commotion outside. The gay patrons inside the bar had filed out as well, contributing along with the fight against the police raid. There were many people who threw bottles and lit trash cans at the windows. The first hour within the riot, there were hundreds of people who contributed into the fight. The police had no choice but to file inside the bar and to take shelter. But that didn't stop the rioters from hurling items towards the police. They had begun to throw items they could find and hurl these things through the windows again. One person had thrown a parking meter whom they had dug from the ground and had thrown it towards the now broken windows. 
the police to take matters into their own hands again and try to regain the mass to dial down. This did not happen, however, it only angered the crowd increasingly. The police had no choice but to call the police department for backup to help them with the chaotic mass of destruction happening on 53 Christopher Street. A group of police reinforcements with helmets and clubs had exited out of the vehicle, trying to take hold of the crowd. The mass had begun to grow. The first hour had increased 100 more people, and the next following night it had increased an amount of to 500 people. This group of people had once been curious onlookers, but were now part of the ride that was now taking place off of Sheridan Square. The three drag queens who were arrested had stepped out of the paddy wagon they were entered through and had begun to chant along the ride, throwing beer bottles to cans. Amongst one of those drag queens was Sylvia Rivera. He was a transgender who was one of the many reasons why the riot had occurred that night. Sylvia fought for equality for homosexuals herself and has created one of the gay rights movement before this riot has happened. The police had no control over the crowd whatsoever. The crowd had begun to grow to an estimated amount of 500 people the first night and had gathered up to 700 people the following night. The third night of the riot had grown into an expected amount of 1,000 people and so on and so forth. A young boy from the crowd had begun to contribute into the riot when the police force had grabbed the boy and stepped him away from the crowd. He was abused by the force of the clubs. The police took this as an advantage to try and take control of the crowd but only made the crowd frustrated that they have hurt one of their own. Save our sisters, someone from the crowd has announced, causing all attention to step towards the boys being physically abused by the police reinforcements. Instantly, the crowd hurled their items at the police, whom were still beating the now damaged boy. The reinforcements had stopped what they were doing and had run to take shelter before someone got hurt. Another riot was being took place in New York. Just off of the Greenwich Village, a small group of gays had just come out of an inn that was also being invaded by the police department. The police reinforcements were to meet at the Greenwich Village because of all of the ruckus of the commotion the group of men has caused. Therefore, another riot has found its way to the markings of June 28, 1969. There has been many protests that has been created the several nights the riot was being took place. After realizing the police had no reason to physically abuse the people who had contributed into the riot, it had come to an end. 200 people had gathered up in the Stowell Inn the upcoming Saturday. Men who were wearing plain clothes were in a search warrant authorizing illegal sales of alcohol. 400 youths were ensued, a partial riot mobilization constructed by the police department and 13 people were arrested. Along those lines of arrest, four policemen had been physically injured because of the riot. This riot has meant to a lot of the gays around the world. It has sparked the gay rights movement to many homosexuals. It has brought this discrimination towards them to ease down a bit, but there are still a few people out there who still like to judge them because of what they are. It brought gay rights to a stand because they had finally accomplished what they wanted, and that was for them to be created equal like God planned. Because of this, it had slowly led up to the point where gays should be happy because of the social change revolving around the world we live in. The first gay pride parade was a year after the outbreak of the Stonewall. It took place off of the curb of Christopher Street on June 28, 1970. The first gay pride parade was committed. The Stonewall has made a huge difference towards the gay rights movement. It has created the start of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender movement. This movement has had many sponsors in the past and also where we are now. It is still here because of the hard work created by the organizations, sponsors, and funders who support gay rights. This has slowly progressed to the beginning of the new start towards the gay rights movement. Parades have been made while gay marriage is now accepted in some areas located in the United States. This has been the greatest outcome towards gay rights history. The greatest thing to happen since is gay marriage. We received many rights but they came very slowly. It was hard to come out in the early days. Being accepted was mostly done by family and friends. But this did not stop people from discriminating gays. In fact, it still happens. One thing most gays want is for society to accept gays for whom they are, not for what they are interested in. There is a lot more we can do and hope for the state, governments, and individuals can accept us. Our journey is not complete until our gay brothers and sisters are treated like anyone else under the law. 
For if we are truly created equal, then surely the love we commit to one another must be equal as well.